For certain cancer patients, a treatment called T-cell therapy can be life-saving. But a big downside to this method is that the patient's entire immune system must first be destroyed with chemo or radiation. And now a new discovery in mice could change that for people in the future. News 9's Robin Marsh explains in today's Medical Minute. Well, for people with cancer, chemo and radiation can be life-saving, but they can also cause serious side effects. I lost all my hair, I lost my eyelashes, I lost my eyebrows. I didn't tolerate food for a while. I ran fevers, I had bone pain. Researchers are studying a new method that could actually eliminate the need for chemo and radiation. So before that, you'd have a treatment called T-cell therapy. With this approach, doctors collect a patient's own immune cells, grow and enhance them in a lab, and then inject them back into the person. Normally, patients need to receive chemo and radiation to wipe out their immune system before the T-cell therapy, but that could change down the road. Immunotherapy has been the holy grail, really, of cancer therapy because we know the immune system is able to kill cancer cells. You reset their immune system and it continues to work. Now a research team led by UCLA in collaboration with scientists from Stanford and the University of Pennsylvania discovered engineering the T cells with a lab made receptor called IL-9 actually allows the cancer fighting cells to do their work without the need for chemo or radiation. In one model involving mice, the researchers cured more than half of the animals that were treated with the synthetic IL-9 receptor T cell. This is a breakthrough that could one day allow doctors to treat more cancer patients with T cell therapy and fewer side effects. The T cell therapy may be an option for different types of cancers, but it's more commonly used in people who have blood cancers. It's being looked at now for melanoma, cervical, squamous cell carcinoma, bile duct cancer as well, and other types. We'll continue watching. For today's Medical Minute, I'm Robin Marsh.